What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically, in today's video, we have to talk about the wild stuff that's happening right now within most of the major cryptocurrencies. As you guys can see, the S&P 500 yesterday, since the markets are closed today and tomorrow, managed to correct below our major support. This is not a good sign. We were hoping, praying that we would actually stay above our support level here, up at about 38 uh, or 3,900 points. You can see just yesterday we corrected below here and we saw a pretty detrimental correction to the downside here. However, we immediately reversed out of that. So there's a lot of this uncertainty going on right now. No, we're not necessarily above the support, but we did reverse all the way out from all the correction that we had back to the upside here, which is just very confusing, something we weren't expecting. But here we are correcting back to the upside. So it's not something that I'm too worried about here. Uh, but being that we are now trending inside this lower support channel here, there's a chance we could very easily correct all the way back to the downside here, which would be terrible. And nobody really wants to see the price of the S&P 500 pull all the way back down to levels that we were trading at a long time ago. You know, we're talking about stuff that we've corrected from many, many, many weeks ago. We had a triple bottom in the past year. We broke out of it. We thought that was it. And here we are coming right back down to retest similar times. Times. Now, moving forward, this is also to play with some of the other cryptocurrencies here. This is actually quite interesting, and I'm shocked that XRP managed to recover out of this so exponentially here. So over the past couple of days, we've actually started to correct back down. We broke through our bottom support here, and... This is why I haven't been trading some of these cryptocurrencies the past couple of days because of the amount of uncertainty that's been going on in the, in the markets here. We immediately reversed out of it, immediately corrected back to the upside here. Nobody was expecting this. I was not expecting this. And this is why I've been a little bit more patient on getting back into the markets here because of how volatile they are. So we've had this descending fractal. We broke bullish here, immediately dumped to the downside. And now we reverse all the way back up to pretty much uh, go back to price levels that we were at previously here, which is definitely a good sign. And I'm hoping this continues uh, to swing us to the upside here, but it goes beyond just that. We have it happened with, it hasn't happened yet with Ethereum. It hasn't happened yet with Bitcoin. However, we are retesting some supports that we do have to look at. And hopefully this allows the S&P to swing back to the upside here, bringing the cryptocurrencies with it. So we're gonna be talking about all this later on in today's video. With that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe. Let's dive into today's episode. As you guys know, I just recently dropped a new video on my second channel here called Hayden Schreier. You can see here, it's how to dramatically increase your credit score without debt. If this is interesting to you or you would like to check it out, link is down in the description below. But to dive right into the technical analysis here, you can see top 10 cryptocurrencies. Everything is pretty much consolidating right now. Top 10 cryptocurrencies, pretty much not seeing much movement at all. Everything's pretty much floating sideways, up 0.68%, down 2.3%. BNB is up 0.84%. XRP is the only one really pumping to the upside because we were not expecting this to rally at all here, up 7.48%. But to dive into these cryptocurrencies, the main thing you can see here is with the S&P 500 price, we're pretty much at a support level right now. You know, it's hard to gauge exactly what's going on, exactly where we are. You know, we are reversing out of this and, you know, we don't have enough time yet. So we have to wait for Monday and Tuesday to really confirm, are we going to reverse back up here? Are we going to open back up here and start to trend to the upside? That's the goal here, especially seeing the amount of support that pulled us up here. It doesn't want us this low. There's obviously chances of correction to the downside. I'm just hoping that that's not what happens here. As you can see, we do have this triple bottom formation, and this was a very strong support that unfortunately we did trend below here. So truly, I don't know what's going to happen. Nobody knows what's going to happen, but you can see hopefully that this can reverse us to the upside. If it doesn't, oh, well, sorry. And the reason I believe we could probably see prices reverse to the upside is because of the way uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are reacting to their bottom supports. So although the S&P is not down to its lowest level yet, that Bitcoin and Ethereum pretty much are. Bitcoin, as you can see, has pretty much made a nosedive reversal here. It has not reversed back up, unlike XRP. But we got a major descending fractal forming here. We broke extremely bullish. Now we reversed all the way back down to retest bottom supports right here. And here we are starting to climb back up. So it's kind of interesting. But the fact is we're retesting a bottom support. The bottom support that we had a triple bottom at, if you guys remember, very similar to the S&P, although Bitcoin's actually down retesting it. So the goal is that we can use this support to rally up higher. That's the goal, fingers crossed, that we can not break below 19K. This is pretty much the stronghold here. A lot of people think it's 20K as a stronghold, but truly looking at this, it looks like $19,000 seems to be the support level that just can't be broken. And hopefully we don't, because if we do, it's not going to be too pretty. And a lot of this is going to be retested very, very, very soon. 
As you guys know, there's a massive descending fractal forming on Bitcoin that's really going to make or break the crypto market here. We got rejected off of it a couple a couple of days ago within this week's candle here, and you can see we fell back down to bottom support. Now, this ultimately is probably going to allow us to consolidate into the beginning of October here, where we're going to have another decision. Are we going to break through resistance, a resistance level that we've gotten rejected off of a few times in the past, or are we going to break through it? and scale the markets to the upside here. As you know, we're floating on oversold. We're very close to being oversold here. You know, we're back down to the same price levels we were when the markets retested oversold. You can see in the past here, what happens when we're oversold? Prices here at 4,100, they end up eventually swinging to the upside. We retest it again, we're probably gonna rally to the upside here. So basically the point I'm trying to make here is we had our bull market, we had our bear market. I do believe that's over. We have the bull market, and I believe this is the bear market. The point that I'm trying to make is that I believe we're probably right around here in the markets. This is where I believe we are, truly. So we have the bull, we had the bull, we had the bear, we had the bear, and now I believe we're here, and I believe we are going to see consolidation and rally up again, and then come back down to retest that market. So I'm looking for that same exact pattern to happen, where we flatline out, rally up to like 40K, come back down, and then see the rally into 2024. This is truly what I'm looking at. Maybe a little smaller, something like this, something like this, and then a rally up. This is what I'm looking at. This is truly how I believe the markets are moving because I do strongly believe they are our cyclical markets here. So long term, I think we're good. You know, Being that the markets are all retesting oversold, I truly believe that the markets will recover very soon out of this and start to rally up higher. That's my opinion. That's where I think these markets are going to be moving to. The fact that you know, when you look at Bitcoin at oversold, these were buying opportunities. The only times that really you really had an option to get in were here and here. Great opportunities to buy in and long to the upside. Yes, we were oversold here too, you know, at 1400, but nobody really knew about these markets then. Now we're oversold in the markets on the weekly. So it's pretty much screaming that movement to the upside is coming. Everybody loves cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency has been pretty much integrated into everything. So it's just a matter of time. We just need these markets to pick up. We're in a horrible year. The time to buy in is in a horrible year. So, you know, keep that in mind here that there's a good chance we'll rally up very soon. Now, moving forward here, you can see it's not just within Bitcoin here. And even though we are waiting for this rally to the upside here, I do believe we are going to see some pretty interesting things come. Short term, we do have to retest this, you know, level very soon right here. I do believe that uh, hopefully we can break through it, you know, but we are going to see some consolidation and hopefully we can break through, but it's going to be, you know, uh, some time before we see something like that. But the same thing applies itself with, with uh, Ethereum on its weekly. It's happening again. We're in the same descending fractal here. Filling in the gap. Same thing that I said about Bitcoin applies to Ethereum. We're waiting for us to break through here, which could be in the beginning of October. If we can, rally to the upside. If we can't, it's going to be a dump to the downside here. $500, who knows? It's going to be, it's not going to be fun, but that's pretty much where my mind's at and where I believe these markets are going to be moving to. And I can tell, I mean, truly, I can tell by the followers that people are losing interest in crypto. And it's done this twice now in the markets. And I've seen it all with my own eyes since 2016, 2017. I've seen it every single time. So it's just a matter of time before we rally back to the upside here. Same thing applies with XRP. With all that being said, guys, I definitely make sure to check out BitYard link in the description, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging site that I like to use here on the platform, not only can you buy long, but you can sell short. You can leverage trade. They have XRP, unlike many other cryptos. The best part is they offer a demo account that allows you to actually trade around with $100,000 in Monopoly money, as you guys can see here, which is super cool. You can buy long, you could sell short, you could do whatever you want. So it's definitely an awesome thing to check out. And if you do decide to sign up, click, uh, once you sign up with the link down in the description, click mystery box right here, and you'll actually be able to earn some free cryptocurrency. And who doesn't like some free cryptocurrency? And with that being said, guys, keep your eyes peeled on these cryptocurrency markets. We have to let things consolidate a little bit longer, but hopefully, fingers crossed, that we're waiting for the rebound. We're waiting for us to rebound off this and head to the upside, at least to retest this resistance again. Hopefully break through it, but at least retest it. With that being said, guys, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.